The Death of Lazarus John Chapter 11 Now a certain man was sick, Lazarus of Bethany, the town of Mary and her sister Martha. Two it was that Mary who anointed the Lord with fragrant oil and wiped his feet with her hair, whose brother Lazarus was sick. Three therefore the sisters sent to him, saying, Lord, behold, he whom you love is sick. For when Jesus heard that, he said, This sickness is not unto death, but for the glory of God, that the Son of God may be glorified through it. 5. Now Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. 6. So, when he heard that he was sick, he stayed two more days in the place where he was. 7. Then, after this he said to the disciples, Let us go to Judea again. 8. The disciples said to him, Rabbi, lately the Jews sought to stone you, and are you going there again? 9. Jesus answered, Are there not twelve hours in the day? If anyone walks in the day, he does not stumble, because he sees the light of this world. 10. But if one walks in the night, he stumbles, because the light is not in him. 11. These things he said, and after that he said to them, Our friend Lazarus sleeps, but I go that I may wake him up. 12. Then his disciples said, Lord, if he sleeps he will get well. 13. However, Jesus spoke of his death, but they thought that he was speaking about taking rest and sleep. 14. Then Jesus said to them plainly, Lazarus is dead. 15. And I am glad for your sakes that I was not there, that you may believe. Nevertheless, let us go to him. 16. Then Thomas, who was called the twin, said to his fellow disciples, Let us also go, that we may die with him. I am the resurrection and the life. 17. So when Jesus came, he found that he had already been in the tomb four days. 18. Now Bethany was near Jerusalem, about a two miles away. 19. And many of the Jews had joined the women around Martha and Mary to comfort them concerning their brother. 20. Then Martha, as soon as she heard that Jesus was coming, went and met him, but Mary was sitting in the house. 21. Now Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. 22. But even now I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give you. 23. Jesus said to her, Your brother will rise again. 24. Martha said to him, I know that he will rise again in the resurrection at the last day. 25. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he may die, he shall live. 26. And whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. Do you believe this? 27. She said to him, Yes, Lord, I believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, who is to come into the world. Jesus and death, the last enemy. 28. And when she had said these things, she went her way and secretly called Mary her sister, saying, The teacher has come and is calling for you. 29. As soon as she heard that, she arose quickly and came to him. 30. Now Jesus had not yet come into the town, but B was in the place where Martha met him. 31. Then the Jews who were with her in the house and comforting her, when they saw that Mary rose up quickly and went out, followed her, C, saying, She is going to the tomb to weep there. 32. Then, when Mary came where Jesus was, and saw him, she fell down at his feet, saying to him, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. 33. Therefore, when Jesus saw her weeping, and the Jews who came with her weeping, he groaned in the spirit and was troubled. 34. And he said, Where have you laid him? They said to him, Lord, come and see. 35. Jesus wept. 36. Then the Jews said, See how he loved him. 37. And some of them said, Could not this man, who opened the eyes of the blind, also have kept this man from dying? Lazarus raised from the dead. 
38 Then Jesus, again groaning in himself, came to the tomb. It was a cave, and a stone lay against it. 39 Jesus said, Take away the stone. Martha, the sister of him who was dead, said to him, Lord, by this time there is a stench, for he has been dead four days. 40 Jesus said to her, Did I not say to you that if you would believe you would see the glory of God? 41 Then they took away the stone, D, from the place where the dead man was lying. And Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me forty-two, and I know that you always hear me, but because of the people who are standing by I said this, that they may believe that you sent me. Forty-three now when he had said these things, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. Forty-four, and he who had died came out bound hand and foot with grave clothes, and his face was wrapped with a cloth. Jesus said to them, Loose him, and let him go. The plot to kill Jesus. 45 Then many of the Jews who had come to Mary, and had seen the things Jesus did, believed in him. 46 But some of them went away to the Pharisees, and told them the things Jesus did. 47 Then the chief priests and the Pharisees gathered a council and said, what shall we do? For this man works many signs. 48. If we let him alone like this, everyone will believe in him, and the Romans will come and take away both our place and nation. 49. And one of them, Caiaphas, being high priest that year, said to them, You know nothing at all. 50. Nor do you consider that it is expedient for, e, us that one man should die for the people, and not that the whole nation should perish. 51 Now this he did not say on his own authority, but being high priest that year he prophesied that Jesus would die for the nation, 52, and not for that nation only, but also that he would gather together in one the children of God who were scattered abroad. 53 Then, from that day on, they plotted to put him to death. 54 Therefore Jesus no longer walked openly among the Jews, but went from there into the country near the wilderness, to a city called Ephraim, and there remained with his disciples. 55 And the Passover of the Jews was near, and many went from the country up to Jerusalem before the Passover, to purify themselves. 56 Then they sought Jesus, and spoke among themselves as they stood in the temple, What do you think? that he will not come to the feast. 57 Now both the chief priests and the Pharisees had given a command that if anyone knew where he was, he should report it, that they might seize him. The Anointing at Bethany John chapter 12 Then, six days before the Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, where Lazarus was, F, who had been dead, whom he had raised from the dead. To there they made him a supper, and Martha served, but Lazarus was one of those who sat at the table with him. Three then Mary took a pound of very costly oil of spikenard, anointed the feet of Jesus, and wiped his feet with her hair. And the house was filled with the fragrance of the oil. For but one of his disciples, Judas Iscariot, Simon's son, who would betray him, said, 5. Why was this fragrant oil not sold for, g. 300 denarii and given to the poor? 6. This he said, not that he cared for the poor, but because he was a thief, and had the money box, and he used to take what was put in it. 7. But Jesus said, Let her alone, h. She has kept this for the day of my burial. 8. For the poor you have with you always, but me you do not have always. The Plot to Kill Lazarus 9 Now a great many of the Jews knew that he was there, and they came, not for Jesus' sake only, but that they might also see Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. 10 But the chief priests plotted to put Lazarus to death also, 11 Because on account of him many of the Jews went away and believed in Jesus. The Triumphal Entry 12 The next day a great multitude that had come to the feast, 
when they heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem, thirteen took branches of palm trees and went out to meet him, and cried out, Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, the King of Israel. Fourteen then Jesus, when he had found a young donkey, sat on it, as it is written, Fifteen fear not, daughter of Zion. Behold, your king is coming, sitting on a donkey's colt. Sixteen his disciples did not understand these things at first, but when Jesus was glorified, then they remembered that these things were written about him and that they had done these things to him. Seventeen therefore the people who were with him when he called Lazarus out of his tomb and raised him from the dead bore witness. 18 for this reason the people also met him because they heard that he had done this sign 19 the Pharisees therefore said among themselves you see that you are accomplishing nothing look the world has gone after him the fruitful grain of wheat 20 now there were certain Greeks among those who came up to worship at the feast 21 then they came to Philip who was from Bethsaida of Galilee and asked him, saying, Sir, we wish to see Jesus. 22 Philip came and told Andrew, and in turn Andrew and Philip told Jesus. 23 But Jesus answered them, saying, The hour has come that the Son of Man should be glorified. 24 Most assuredly, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the ground and dies, it remains alone. But if it dies, it produces much, I, grain. 25. He who loves his life will lose it, and he who hates his life in this world will keep it for eternal life. 26. If anyone serves me, let him follow me, and where I am, there my servant will be also. If anyone serves me, him my father will honor. Jesus predicts his death on the cross. 27 now my soul is troubled and what shall I say father save me from this hour but for this purpose I came to this hour 28 father glorify your name then a voice came from heaven saying I have both glorified it and will glorify it again 29 therefore the people who stood by and heard it said that it had thundered Others said, An angel has spoken to him. Thirty Jesus answered and said, This voice did not come because of me, but for your sake. Thirty-one now is the judgment of this world, now the ruler of this world will be cast out. Thirty-two and I, if I am, J, lifted up from the earth, will draw all peoples to myself. Thirty-three this he said, signifying by what death he would die. 34 the people answered him we have heard from the law that the Christ remains forever and how can you say the son of man must be lifted up who is this son of man 35 then Jesus said to them a little while longer the light is with you walk while you have the light lest darkness overtake you he who walks in darkness does not know where he is going 36 while you have the light believe in the light that you may become sons of light. These things Jesus spoke, and departed, and was hidden from them. Who has believed our report? 37 But although he had done so many signs before them, they did not believe in him. 38 That the word of Isaiah the prophet might be fulfilled, which he spoke. Lord, who has believed our report? And to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? 39 therefore they could not believe because isaiah said again 40 he has blinded their eyes and hardened their hearts lest they should see with their eyes lest they should understand with their hearts and turn so that i should heal them 41 these things isaiah said k when he saw his glory and spoke of him walk in the light 42 Nevertheless even among the rulers many believed in him, but because of the Pharisees they did not confess him, lest they should be put out of the synagogue. 43 For they loved the praise of men more than the praise of God. 
44 Then Jesus cried out and said, He who believes in me, believes not in me, but in him who sent me. 45 And he who sees me sees him who sent me. 46 I have come as a light into the world, that whoever believes in me should not abide in darkness. 47 And if anyone hears my words and does not, L, believe, I do not judge him, for I did not come to judge the world, but to save the world. 48 He who rejects me, and does not receive my words, has that which judges him, the word that I have spoken will judge him in the last day. 49 For I have not spoken on my own authority, but the Father who sent me gave me a command, what I should say, and what I should speak. 50 And I know that his command is everlasting life. Therefore, whatever I speak, just as the Father has told me, so I speak. Jesus washes the disciples' feet. John chapter 13 Now before the feast of the Passover, when Jesus knew that his hour had come that he should depart from this world to the Father, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. 2 and M. Supper being ended, the devil having already put it into the heart of Judas Iscariot, Simon's son, to betray him, 3 Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands, and that he had come from God and was going to God, for rose from supper and laid aside his garments, took a towel and girded himself. 5 After that, he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet, and to wipe them with the towel with which he was girded. Six then he came to Simon Peter. And Peter said to him, Lord, are you washing my feet? Seven Jesus answered and said to him, What I am doing you do not understand now, but you will know after this. Eight Peter said to him, You shall never wash my feet. Jesus answered him, If I do not wash you, you have no part with me. 9. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, not my feet only, but also my hands and my head. 10. Jesus said to him, He who is bathed needs only to wash his feet, but is completely clean, and you are clean, but not all of you. 11. For he knew who would betray him, therefore he said, You are not all clean. 12. So when he had washed their feet, taken his garments, and sat down again, he said to them, Do you, N, know what I have done to you? 13. You call me teacher and Lord, and you say well, for so I am. 14. If I then, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. 15. For I have given you an example, that you should do as I have done to you. 16. Most assuredly, I say to you, a servant is not greater than his master, nor is he who is sent greater than he who sent him. 17. If you know these things, blessed are you if you do them. Jesus identifies his betrayer. 18. I do not speak concerning all of you. I know whom I have chosen, but that the scripture may be fulfilled, he who eats, oh, bread with me has lifted up his heel against me. 19 now I tell you before it comes that when it does come to pass you may believe that I am he 20 most assuredly I say to you he who receives whomever I send receives me and he who receives me receives him who sent me 21 when Jesus had said these things he was troubled in spirit and testified and said most assuredly I say to you one of you will betray me 22 Then the disciples looked at one another, perplexed about whom he spoke. 23 Now there was, P, leaning on Jesus' bosom one of his disciples, whom Jesus loved. 24 Simon Peter therefore motioned to him to ask who it was of whom he spoke. 25 Then, leaning, Q, back on Jesus' breast, he said to him, Lord, who is it? 26 Jesus answered, it is he to whom I shall give a piece of bread when I have dipped it. And having dipped the bread, he gave it to Judas Iscariot, the son of Simon. 27 Now after the piece of bread, Satan entered him. Then Jesus said to him, What you do, 
do quickly. 28. But no one at the table knew for what reason he said this to him. 29. For some thought, because Judas had the money box that Jesus had said to him, by those things we need for the feast, or that he should give something to the poor. 30. Having received the piece of bread, he then went out immediately. And it was night. The new commandment. 31. So, when he had gone out, Jesus said, Now the Son of Man is glorified, and God is glorified in him. 32. If God is glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself, and glorify him immediately. 33. Little children, I shall be with you a little while longer. You will seek me, and as I said to the Jews, where I am going, you cannot come, so now I say to you. 34. A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another, as I have loved you, that you also love one another. 35. By this all will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. Jesus predicts Peter's denial. 36. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, where are you going? Jesus answered him, Where I am going you cannot follow me now, but you shall follow me afterward. 37. Peter said to him, Lord, why can I not follow you now? I will lay down my life for your sake. 38. Jesus answered him, Will you lay down your life for my sake? Most assuredly, I say to you, the rooster shall not crow till you have denied me three times.